Today is the launch event for the 230 year anniversary celebrations. It's been an amazing day. It was meant to be a two hour program. It was somewhat extended, but I think, you know, no one was complaining too much. Um, so we had an excellent performance by the University of Sierra Leone Drama Group. We had Gwyn J. Allen singing a Freetown song. Then we went into the panel discussions. Um, really rich historical accounts, some focusing on women um, in the past, uh, icons and the, the influence, um, others focusing on Freetown today, making the comparisons. Um, the discussion from the audience highlighted air issues around preservation of our heritage buildings, as well as, you know, social economic cohesion um, which you know and, and issues around land tenure and land reform so it's been really really engaging and then we had a brief um, um, keynote for myself we are celebrating because we have achievements but we're celebrating also because we're alive because we're here and for as long as we're here we always have hope of a better future and that hope is being able to see that there's light even when we're surrounded by darkness. Because as we celebrate 230 years, we're not just saying this is our past. We are regaining, rebuilding our energy, energizing ourselves for a future. And that needs hope. Um, so we close it off with a fantastic song by the eminence artists Drizzlick, Blessing, Ray J and Mellow Seven. Um, and I we just like, you know, I've got this big smile on my face because we've all been dancing and it's just been such a great way to kick off the celebrations. Really excited about the next few days hold. Lots of work. Huge thanks to all the team, all the committee members, Mrs. Smith and everyone who's been involved in this. They've done a fantastic job. Um, and and so much more to come, so Freetonians, get ready! So today has been absolutely amazing. Um, the second day of the 230 year anniversary celebrations. And today it's been about women and girls because it's International Women's Day. So we've actually had a symposium, amazing young women on the panels. Um, speaking about things as diverse as climate change, innovation, and importantly, their vision for the participation of women in Freetown in 30 years from now. Um, I also had the opportunity to share some thoughts. We talked more about what the barriers are in their lives, barriers um, such as financial, uh, focus on you know, distractions, um, sex, wanted, or unwanted, as well as social media. But significantly, we landed on what every girl needs to know, that she has to believe in herself, that she can be anybody that she wants to be, and she can do anything that she wants to do if she has that self-belief, um, and if she's able to ensure that she gets her education and is not taken off the, the, you know, doesn't stray off the path or is moved off the path. So on that note, we also spoke about safe spaces and support structures and support systems. So today, 230 years of Freetown was narrowing in on a huge asset to our city, and that is our women and girls, and making sure that they have the safety, they have the encouragement, and they have the support that they require to fulfill their ambitions, and in so doing, propel and project our city forward. Who's going to be the next mayor in the next 20 years? My name is Chief 
Matthew Jiba Young. I'm the Mandate Tribal Head Western Area, and I'm also the Secretary General Council of Tribal Heads. Well, today is a celebration of the 230 years of the arrival of the first batch of slaves in Sierra Leone. You know, Dr. Joseph Samsi, former Minister of Agriculture, Forestry, and Food Security of Sierra Leone. Very eventful uh, day, uh, full of a lot of various culture from all the tribes in Freetown, about 17 they say. All have come to display their, their dressing, their music, their dancing, all of it. Tina Cummings, Mina, the recently elected president of Creole Descendants Union Freetown. Oh, there's a lot of love and, and togetherness in the air, and I just hope say it will continue so. Because as free as people of, of Sierra Leone, we really na people there where we lack we self and we lack we country. So I just believe say this this celebration is a celebration of unity, it's a celebration of love, it's a celebration for say we are all one people and we're here for one purpose. <laughs> Five tribes are together and there is no tribalism at all. There is that cohesiveness. Very historical events. Remember the time where Salon be day in day, Freedom be day in day, and then kind of be happen at the country. All the ethnic groups then, all the tribes in Sierra Leone, then they bring the, the people in, then they come march around the, the free town. So a very historical event, and I'm happy for today why I see a member of the past. You see, so we we'll tell them all thank you. Um, people have really entered into the spirit of celebrating our traditions, our music, and our culture as we've walked through the streets of Freetown. We started right here at the City Hall. We walked along Wallace Johnson Street, up Walpole Street. At that point, I was seriously thinking, are we going to be able to make the whole route? <laughs> because it was hot, but the energy was fantastic. All that mattered was that we were all together having a fantastic time demonstrating the unity and um, the beauty there is in unity, the beauty there is in diversity and our ability to collectively uh, enjoy our city um, and as we are looking forward with this theme, City of Freedom, City of Hope, um, to demonstrate in a really tangible way, you know, how how energizing and how exciting it is when we all walk together and literally walk together. I've got sore feet, but I'm really happy. Today, na day four of the 230 year anniversary of Freetown. And today we get different activities all around remembering and reflecting. This afternoon I've been there on an online symposium where we link up with academics, um, we link up with people them of the Gola heritage, even people in Nova Scotia. So we've been get a symposium day, culture connections across the waters that we focus on. Tonight we're in one of the oldest churches in Freetown. St. John Maroon Church. The Maroon people them, they may come after the Nova Scotians. 
but then set up this church here and we decide, say, for Yuzam as the center or the venue for the vigil. We know say that three sets of people and come in a free tongue. You get, the, you get the Nova Scotians, you get the Maroon, and you get the captives. In, 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 in 1897, now in the captives then come. And when they come from government 12, they assemble in the tree, then sing and pray to God. So today this vigil will get, now the eve of the celebration of the 230th anniversary of Freetown. And waiting it depicts today, a member Usa we come out, where we people then come, where they both land in the government wharf, all that place in the bush, that they fend their way to the land. And when they come to the land, they meet people then be already there in the land, where then we don't tell them, say that they can't give them. So this net, we're able to reflect 230 years, what we people then go through. You're not gonna believe, some man not gonna know. Say, when them people them, they enslaved, freed, formerly enslaved Africans, they mean get onto them 15 ships them. Now Halifax, Nova Scotia for calm Salon. Some of the communities, they don't mean get a message quick. So some of them not even cut onto the boat. So the one that we've been left behind, then still they in touch with family members them, generations down where they free town. So today we received two letters from some of them community then they, we get contribution from the Gola people, but importantly bringing it back to this time, in this point in time. As someone whose family and lineage is from South Carolina, the Charleston Seacoast, the Gullah people, we are directly related and directly close to our heritage here in Sierra Leone. We carry the traditions with us. We carry the rice with us. We carry the language with us. So we are very still closely connected. And so I reflect and I say that I am a survivor of what they tried to take away and take across the sea. I am now back. I am my ancestors' wildest dreams because so many generations ago, I was taken away and now I'm back. This is my first time here in Sierra Leone. My first time in Africa. So I thank Mama Salone. We also hear from Ebola survivor, 6th of January survivor, mudslide survivor, and Wellington fire explosion survivor, because the history of Freetown, not so just the far away history, now the history way just day behind the corner, and important for way we reflect and look beyond, in order for let we look before, we bring everybody into that story day. So today don't be very, 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 very emotional, you know, some of the stories can be very painful, but also inspiring. And we conclude the evening by doing a candlelight procession down Percival Street, up uh, uh, Lamina Sankar Street. We go round the cotton tree, and as I mean, pray, where they first come in 1792, we gather together as council, as councillors, as staff of council, with Freetonians, Creole Descendants Union, we all come together representing the totality of Freetown. We see we, with all of everybody now we had, remembering the joy of the culture of parade yesterday. We bring, remember all the people them, and we pray for Freetown. The mayor, the councillors, the, 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 the entire song of the city council, of course, we are all the Freetonians. Uh, let go put blessing for we. Amen. Let go make all the land together for the city the way we expect them. All the challenges, all the face as a city. Let God push apart from we. Now get unity. Now get the, the good things to look for. This area today in blessing. Make it church with all. So that the beginning from tomorrow, we'll go look at and say that 230 30 years one day. Now we'll get peace and tranquility for God before for the city. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Muhammad. Amen. Lord, bless all of them and their good intentions and plans for the development of this city and the welfare of its people. Send your blessings on all men, women, and children who live in this wonderful city. <laughs> Ceremony 
is about thanking God Almighty for successfully seeing us through 230 years of existence. On behalf of our worship the mayor, councillors and staff of Freetown City Council, and indeed the funding of Freetown Celebration Committee, I wish to again welcome you all here and have a pleasant day. Well, today, na in the birthday, 11th of March, 2022, 230 years since the founding of Freetown or the day we choose for celebrate, when are the day we 1196 of them one day with them not free from slavery will come on 15 ships them then come the land of freedom and can on that boat stay then can they meet up with the one they will be on then they grown already we'll be able for make them get land when it starts that of waiting at today modern day free town today we don't come for tell god thank you we get an interfaith service we in a display of the diversity where we don't express and show through the cultural engagement we also today say we know we're gonna mosque friday we cannot church sunday no let we all day together so today we get an interfaith service where collectively we give thanks and praise to god for this day it don't be a great celebration so far a celebration we focus on with history we focus on we challenges, on we pain in the past, but most significantly, we focus on the fact say, together we can build a brighter future. We tell God thank you for 230 years. I say happy birthday, Freetown, and congratulations to all Freetonians. Let God continue for bless we city. Let God continue for bless we lives. Oh, keep on the moving, moving, moving. Oh, we keep on the moving, moving, moving. I adore the Lord, I adore the Lord, I adore the Lord. This is the official celebration of Freetown City at 230 years. Freetown, now the oldest city in Sierra Leone. Yeah, and Freetown are, one, are one of the oldest city across the Sahara. Yes. But I don't know if you look at me. I don't know if you want me. Yeah, no, right. I go to college. I go to business management. Business administration. I pop. It feels fancy. No, I don't understand. Kindo. Kindo left. I like it. Kindo had to make me packaging. Me left you already now. Would you trust in me? Like I trust in you? Would you hold my body? If I say the truth?
I don't get words for express how much I'm glad. Today, now the final day of the celebrations for the 230-year anniversary, and we decide for Endam with what we call a grand parade, and indeed, now be a grand parade. You will hold the banners of the names of the 15 ships where we come out Nova Scotia come. Each group, they be in a ship. And the groups them, as we don't see throughout this week, now a picture of the diversity. We get this FCC, the Met Police, we new recruits will come into the service in September last year. They make me proud. They, I mean, the display of the drill, then turning, then throwing of the baton. So wonderful, so beautiful. We get the police band, we get the military, we get the correctional services. Of course, we tribal heads and day with we again. And the Creole Descendants Union, we get so many schools. We get this, the indigenous importers. Uh, um, we get the waste collectors, the one way they collect dirty, the one way they walk the accounts with the tricycles. We get persons with disability. We get Uraige, we get so many different groups them waving the Naya today. And all of them show we say, oh, oh yes, one very, very important one, the Slum Dwellers Association. And we, we work out with the bands, we work out with the boo-boo, with the councillors and all of we guests. The mayors, the mayor of Monrovia, the deputy mayor of Canifé in the Gambia, the Rotary fishers, people that we said can grace the occasion. It has been a spectacular event. We walk, we sing, we dance, and we just come for conclude back at the city hall in just Thanksgiving, 230 years. Now, a reason for celebrate in spite of all the challenges where the city gets. And I believe, say, at this point in time, it's so important for let we know, say, we're sitting and we all get some. I thank God for the privilege and honor of being the mayor of Freetown at this momentous time. Now, indeed, a privilege. And I hope, say, by God in grace, this celebration will go down in with history at Freetown City Council. Seven days, seven days, of working together, talking together, reminiscing, reflecting, and most importantly, joining hands for a better future. Because where we get unity, where we're able to celebrate with diversity, now the beginning of the transformation where we need. We, now this building, FCC, we do work for Transform Freetown. We don't do work and we go continue for work. But an important part of all we really do now with cultural heritage. And I'm glad to say we've been getting this opportunity in celebrating 230 years, celebrating with people overseas, celebrating with people at home. We get this opportunity for bring out with cultural heritage, the richness of the city, of the peoples, of the, of the memories, of the history, of the stories. We talk about God, thank you. I'm glad, I'm glad. And I thank all Fritonians for their support and their encouragement. And together, we go continue on this journey for Transform Freetown. Who did the same day? They don't value with Bembe. Any program meeting that are happy, I feel so good. When they invite sweet, they even go with young band. They respect sweet. That is one of this country. May I pray to God, these two people, the way they deny, let God protect and guide them. For the love that they show me, that this country, yeah. let God bless Yvonne, he bless her, he bless his family. See, let God bless her, he bless his family. But Kuboku, anyway, they don't show we love when we today. If we rest for we, after that, any program we're going to cancel, he must remember with the disabled. Now, that's the one of this country. Freedom, freedom, now we all young.